Good morning and uh, welcome to the class and uh, let us begin. Today, I will be talking about a new topic, an important topic. How to write functional specification document for reports? Functional specification document for reports. In a standard SAP, there are many reports. In a standard SAP, there are many reports but at projects you will always find need for additional reports now when you find additional report If you need additional report, there are two options. If you need additional reports, then we have following two options. One, we write a custom reports in a, a web or VI, which is business and intelligence. And the second option is there are some query options in SAP. In some time, people use them, and sometimes not. Sometimes not. And the reason for that is because queries has impact on system performance. So queries has impact on system performance. So sometimes people use, sometimes not use. So either you write a custom report, either you write an app, or you can use BI. BI is a business intelligence or BW. Some people use BI, BW. So then they write uh, these query reports in BI and BW. And sometimes people do not use it. They can use query. Um, if it is a not a very complex data extract, then you can use query. <clears throat> okay. So that is how this is what we will be talking about today. That how do we write a functional specification for a report? It might be it is one of the important responsibilities for a functional consultant. So when you are working on a project, writing a report, a custom report could be one of your important responsibility, which team can ask you to do. Now, <clears throat> I want to take an example of how 
report can be used. Okay. So it's a very simple example, but it is an actual example, a real example of writing a report. A real example. So customer EVC Inc. They need a, a report sales by ship to and by state. Invoice sales dollar for a given ship to a state for a given period of time. This is the requirement. This is the requirement. That uh, okay. so for our reporting purposes, for our taxation purposes, we want to know that by the state, how much is my sales? So how much I did the sales in New Jersey? How much I did the sales in Pennsylvania? How much I did in New York? How much I did the sales in California? And by ship to party. So by ship to party, in by state, I want to know how much sale I have done. That's it. A simple example. So now, when you're writing a report, when you're writing a report, in any report, there are two things. Is a selection parameter and there is an output. There are two things. So when you look at any report, whether it's a standard, whether it's an ABAP, whether it's BI, or any report for that matter. In every report, we have these two things. So there is a selection criteria and there is an output. Selection criteria. So when we're writing functional spec, in any report functional specification, we have following two things. First, For this report, for this report, what are my selection criteria and what is my output? Those are the two things. So for example, let's have login to SAP. So here, if you go to information system, and here, there are different reports. This is for logistic, this is for accounting. If you go to accounting, you can see the report for financial accounting. For general ledger, account table, or whatever. Right? Now, a lot of these reports which you are seeing here are a standard SAP report. These are there out of the box. And if you run any of them, the very first thing that you have here 
the very first thing you have here is selection criteria. I put my company code. I can put my custom account. Did this date to this date. And different criteria. And then we run the report. So what I did, it's just one example. You can do this with any example. So we go to accounting. So let's say I want to go to customer sales. I want to see. In fact, I'm just showing you one or two examples. You should uh, familiarize yourself with other reports also, which are there in the standard ACP system. Right? So that will be helpful. So we go to customer sales. In the customer sales, you can put customer account to this account to this account, this company code to this company code, this period to this period, this account to this account, which fiscal year. These are all different selection criteria. So you can run this report by customer account, by company code, by any search parameter, by the period, by fiscal period and many other things. So these are various selection parameters which are available for us in SAP. Now we go to company code, so G037. So let's say I want to see G037. And G037, if I want to choose a customer, I can choose a customer or I can do for all my customers. So we have a choice. These are various selection parameters. If you see here, the company code Z037. Enter. These are all different company code we have. And if I choose a specific company code, now for this company code, this is my output. So when I run for that company code and for this customer, this is my output. In the company code, this reporting detail from this period to this period in 2019 in this company code in this reconciliation account for this customer 102367 name of the customer is jnj company whatever johnson and johnson this is the city this is the postal code this is the city this is the street, this is the region, this is the currency, and this is the sales. And this is the sales, actually. So we have sold this customer 1,279. So what is my total sale? 1,279. So that is my total sale for this customer. That is what we have That is my total sales. Now, this is just one example. Now, what we need, and uh, I would like you guys I just shown you one uh, example of a report, one of the things which each one of you do, run all these different reports. Uh, this is customer balances, this is the customer item, list of customer per line item, this is material master into it. Uh, there are uh, other reports uh, with the master data. It's a simple report, you just run with the different parameters, uh, account list, so this is the list of accounts. Uh, AR account is where you can put the different selection parameters. So we see that here. So if you put a company code, uh, if you want to see my uh, customer list by various parameters, uh, you, know, you can get uh, different parameters, different selection uh, information. So this is, uh, you know, report which has come up. So in this company code, uh, uh, this is my customer one, this is my customer two, this is my customer three, this is my customer four, this is my customer five. Another simple report, just an example that how this report works. Okay. So this is uh, another example. 
of the report back and then uh, in the report uh, similarly so this is account receivable uh, you want to see for the account payable so similar many reports for account payable also so like you want to see the vendor balances you put your company code and uh, you want to see your vendor balances so these are your different vendors so in this company code these are my this period to this period this is my vendor balance company code g037 37 37 reconciliation account 16000 this is the vendor number one vendor number two vendor number three this vendor is best buy home depot home depot and the city country whatever the address detail and then in the last this is the balance this vendor balance this this vendor balance this this vendor balance this and the total is 1199 okay. so this is my total balance so and you can also run for a specific vendor as well similarly you can run you know any other report i just showing you one or two example there are many reports actually out of the box so actually dozens and dozens and dozens of reports are available in fact you shouldn't be aware okay you should be aware okay? so that is what we can do in a standard sap in which we can define in which we can define different vendor vendor one vendor two vendor three vendor four vendor five each of the now these are the standard reports now i want a report which is not a standard now and that is not available in the standards so we have all the, and that is why you need to know standard reports because when you know the standard report then you can verify what is the gap because unless you know the standard report you cannot tell whether this report is a gap or whether this report is not a gap so you will only know if it is a gap if you know what is there in the box that is why I just play with the system. I showed you a few examples of some custom standard reports out of the box. There are many others. Just play with it. Now here, every day sales report by ship to state. So invoice sales dollars for a given ship to state for a period of time. They want by state. And the state should be from ship to party. Ship to party basically means where the material actually delivered. The address where the material is being delivered. Because your customer may be there in a New York. And why this is a gap? Because this is a report which is needed for the ship to state because my customer is in new york but my product is delivered in pennsylvania so i don't want where is my customer is i want where my ship to address is. and i want to know the state of that ship to state and i want the sales amount for that ship to state that is what we want to okay now that is why 
this is a custom report. Now, what do you have to do with this custom report? So this is the requirement. This is actual FNC document. Okay. Now, if you see here, we define collection criteria. So now this is uh, this actual sheet which you see. That is the responsibility of a functional consultant. This is what you will be potentially be doing. So in the selection criteria, we need company code, we need sales organization, we need distribution channel, we need division, we need ship to country, ship to country, because ship to party could be US, ship to uh, address could be in Canada, could be Mexico, could be Europe or any country in the world. So we want to know that what country it is, because when you're doing taxation, country is important. Then I want to know ship to state. What state that is? So country and in that country, what state it is? Because taxation is always by the state. So that is why they want to know the state of the ship to. Now in the taxation, a state is also needed for the ship to address, not sold to address, ship to. And then we can have a date range from this period to this period, but not the like next one month and last six months, the last four months, whatever period it is. Now, each of the selection criteria, whether this criteria is optional or not optional. So this is optional, this is optional, means you can choose to enter it if you want. This is optional, this is optional, this is optional, this is optional. Date range is not optional. It is mandatory. For company code, I need a drop down. So when I go back here, so I need a drop down. So I'm putting this is a drop down. You see that here? In the company code, I can get a drop down. So I'm specifying to them that when you write this, I need a drop down. In the drop down, and for sales organization is also drop down. For uh, distribution channel, I need a drop down and multiple value selection. Company code, I'm only going to select one at a time. Sales organization, I'm going to select one at a time. But division, distribution channel and division, I can choose, it is needed uh, drop down, but I also need multiple options, multiple uh, value selection. So if you see here, this is a multiple selection. Multiple selection of company codes. I can choose more than one value if I choose to. I want drop down and I'll also want ability to do multiple value selection. Multiple value means I can do more than one distribution channel, I can do more than one division. Then I want to drop down and multiple value selection for ship to country. So which country we can have this customer, this product is coming from. Then we can have a drop down and multiple value selection for that also. Date is a range from this date to this date. So date is a range. If we're going by the balances, you can define the range. From this date to this, this is the range. Because normally when you're defining the date, date is normally is a range. Date is normally a range. Now, now important thing is this column. That is why I have mentioned how to find a table. So mapping with the table is an important responsibility. So map, mapping. With the table is another important responsibility. Okay. Now, if you look at here, 
these are the different tables so there is a bvrk 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 so bvrk is a table we can check what is bvrk if i go to h11 we talked about in another session so i can put table bvrk in display now this field mapping is important so bvrk is a active table and this is the table in which we have a billing document header data so when you build the customer then billing information goes into this table so what we are saying here is that we'll go to bvrk and come and the field bukrx and if you see here these are the different fields in this table this table alone has a 98 fields billing document billing type billing category sales organization distribution channel fiscal year county state country company code so we are, what we are saying this is the field bb bu krs so if i need company code i go to this table bbrk and go to this field called bu krs bu krs this is bu krs bu k if i want uh, sales organization then same table will be asked then i go to vkorg so i go to vkorg so if i need sales organization so vkorg and that is where we have the vkorg the same thing for others like we found the distribution channel same table the field is bt wej we go here to the distribution channel bt wej that is what we see here we are to bt wej if i go to output so now we have a selection criteria the next thing which we see is the output in the output i need uh, this field second field third field fourth field so i need these four fields in output the first uh, uh, output i need ship to state which is stated in new jersey new york pennsylvania what is my ship to number not customer number this is ship to number that is where this report is required because this report is not at the customer sold to label but at a ship to label that is why we have to do this custom reporting okay. so ship to label then we have the invoice number then we have the invoice number and then we have gross amount now this also we are mapping to one table we we are count now this example of the report which i am showing you is actually pretty simple example i and i selected this example by design so we can get a better understanding because this everything that's coming from only one table but it could be that you need a many many different table and uh, so that is also possible that uh, you have a different uh, 
tables and multiple tables and from those tables um, you're uh, pulling the data data can always be pulled from more than one table as well this just happened to be one table it does not need to be So now, when I want the SIP twisted, I go to VVRK and the, uh, and the field is REGO. So this is the table, VVRK. But, uh, and then if you go back, go back, there are 98 fields in this. Uh, and we have here REG region state country okay, okay. so we have a region And then we have done the mapping with the region. I want customer number. Now this SIP2 party, aha, now this SIP2 party is different. There's a logic here. See here, there's a logic. Now for this SIP2 party, I'm not going to BVRK. For SIP2 party, I'm going to different table. That table is VVPA. Mm -hmm. In the table BVPA, I'm going to field KUNNR and BVPA table, I'm searching my partner equals to SH. SH means ship to party. And there is a little bit of a logic which you have to write because where do system find ship to party? So if I go back to the table BVPA, back. That is why the table structure, knowing the sum of the table is important, VVPA. And when you will do more and more, you will understand this. So this is the partner table. So the partner table, I want to know my partner function. In this partner function, I want to use PRVW. PRVW. So BBPA go to PRVW. And uh, PRVW. And in that, we have to select a partner function equals to SH. Now, this is an example of uh, how to write a simple report. I just basically wanted to uh, show you this because um, when you go into real world, um, it is, um, it could be one of the important responsibilities. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, just a minute. So uh, this was the, actually the last topic which I wanted to cover. So this was our uh, last topic today. And uh, we have following steps, next steps. Number one, I will, um,
so they are um, following next step number one i will send uh, some additional videos no, too many videos i know and then um, send me your homework i think uh, most of you have already some of you have sent some of you not to send me your homework homework is a uh, exercises then um, i would like to do a quick uh, mock interview and then uh, we can start finding jobs so that is the next step and uh, everyone has my details and basic details and all that anyways so So that is what it is, and uh, with this, it concludes the course today. But obviously, this is just this is end of beginning. This is not end, but just the end of beginning. We have many. many things still to do but if i see a former class um there is another option of rejoining so if you want to rejoin the class uh, you can rejoin the next class so whenever i think they they going to start so you can rejoin the class so that is another option and uh, that's it uh, thank you very much thank you everyone for uh, joining the session Thank you. Thank you, Manakshi. Thank you, everyone.